awesome music to start off another episode of Radiata Stories. Very calm and, you know, there's some frogs in the background. I like it, but welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Radiata Stories. My name is the British Eagle, and today we are diving, flying, soaring into another episode of Radiata Stories. Like I already said twice, way to go, British. Let's go ahead and enter at Elgandar's Castle, I think it is. Elgandar's? Oh, man, what is that thing? Holy crap. So... Real quick, guys, I'm going to pause this for a second. I do just want to let you guys know I didn't do any off-screen grinding. I decided not to because we already have 20,000-plus daggles. We're already in the mid to late 30s. Some of us are in the 40s for levels. We're at 20,000 daggles. I just don't see the value. And as you can see, we're going to battle crazy new enemies that might give us a ton of daggles anyway. So let's just see how this goes, and then we'll maybe grind in a couple episodes. <laughs> How strong are these things? Okay, we knocked one out. That really wasn't that tough. I'm not gonna lie, these things did look concerning. When we got into this battle to start this episode, I was like, oh, this might be bad. We might be under leveled severely, but no, we took them out, no problem. Only two of them, though. Okay, yeah, they gave us, wow. Pfft, that was worse than some of the animals outside. Um, let's go ahead and fight whatever the heck this is. It's a flying carpet or a a uh, Destructo Disc from Krillin from Dragon Ball Z. Or it's a seal of the Orichalcos from Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know. It's doing... Uh, not really anything. It's poisoning us. Um, okay, we took it out. I'll heal up after the battle, but right now let's just take out the enemies. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I'm definitely. I the, their appearance comes across as really tough enemies, but I'm good. Let's go ahead and heal up Ridley. Um, let's make sure she doesn't have any poison and take out the rest of them. By the way, hope you're all having a great day. I am doing well. Um, like I started this episode off, I was I was debating. I was like, man, before. Oh, what? Is that not poison? What is it? Oh, is it curse? Oh, it's curse. Um, yeah, like I said, to start this episode, I was debating on what to do, but look at these levels. I mean, 42, 36, 40, and 31. Um, their health is really good. Our daggles are 21,000 now. Like, I know that's not technically a lot, but we went from, like, 12,000 at the start of the last episode to 21,000. So, yeah, we're, we're not going to overdo things. We're going to take it as it is and just kind of see what happens. All right, so let's let's fight some more of these creepy ghoul-looking things. These things look like the um, what would I compare these things to? Um, well, first of all, awesome scythe. That's really cool. But um, I don't know. There's something about those faces that remind me of the horror movie Krampus. If any of you guys have seen that, with some of the faces of um. The, uh, the Christmas toys that were, like, messed up. I don't know. Something about that reminds me of the movie Krampus. Or maybe, or Krampus himself, but... Uh, why did I click on the map? No idea. <laughs> well, let's battle everyone in here. Let's get some experience. Let's take on the enemies. And why not grab some more daggles? Daggles, daggles, daggles. But, yeah, everything's going well. I'm excited. It's a Friday. I record with Soul Crist in a few hours for our Soul Link series, which, by the time you guys watch this episode, this is the Wednesday episode, um, you'll have already seen Monday and Wednesday's Soul Link episode, which I have not even recorded yet, breaking the fourth wall. Um... But yeah, it's pretty dope. On Fridays, I get to record Radiata Stories and Soul Link a um, couple hours apart from each other, which is really cool. Just in case you guys didn't know that, a little fun fact. Wind Defense rank is level 4 or 4 star now. Awesome, we'll take that. <clears throat> but yeah, so recording day is Friday. And um, yeah, it's good times. Things are good. Life is good. Work's good. Family's happy and healthy. And I uh, hope all of your families and, and friends and yourself are all ha happy and healthy and... Um, if not, hopefully this, uh, content can be entertaining somewhat, and, uh, take your mindset away from the craziness of life itself. Because that's what the goal is at the end of the day, is not just to have fun, but to, you know, provide some type of entertainment to get people away from thinking about the, the tough parts of life, which is basically everything, because life is crazy. But anyway, I divulge. Uh, let's see. Let's go in here. Or I digress, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong choice of words. And we're going to fight more enemies. Uh, 
All right, let's keep going. I mean, these guys really are difficult. I'm not going to waste my uh, limit break on these things. They're they're really just a couple of sword strokes uh, from killing them, so I'm not going to waste my time. Frankly, the only reason I'm really battling them is because I want to explore this castle fully, and I have no idea what's in here anyway, so figure why not, right? Just in case we can find a cool item or armor or something. Massive enmity. Enmity? Let me check that out. What is that? I feel like we have one of those already. Hold on. Massive enmity. I feel like we already grabbed one of those before. Yeah, we got five. Okay, curse is an enemy. That's fine. Makes sense. Okay, Jack. Let's continue to take out these uh, scythe... Sometimes scythe-wielding and sometimes non-scythe-wielding enemies. Yeah, I think that's one of the things in this game is that, like, I think Solkris has said this before. Um, uh, this game is not merely about grinding levels. I mean, you can if you want to, but, like, there's nothing in this game that's, at least so far, that's been like, oh my gosh, I'm 10, 20 levels way too low for this boss. Um, and I think that's just because that's not what the game's focused on. The game's focused more on the story and the aesthetics as well of, of what you get from this game, which is beautiful, this game is. Um, but yeah, just something to keep in mind, guys, when you're seeing these battles and you're like, man, you know, British isn't having any trouble with half of these uh, enemies. And it's like, well, it's not meant to be... I, at least, I don't know, maybe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. It's not meant to be, like, required to be super grindy. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, I'm not halfway through the game now required to get to level 70 to beat the next boss. Like, it's just kind of, you know, recruit as you can, you know, you know, find cool uh, weapons and equipment, armor, things like that, and, you know, enjoy the story. So I guess really I'm trying to say is it's story driven, which makes sense. Or it could just be that I'm a gangster and I'm just really good at this game. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Now, I'm curious why... Are those the Light Elves flowers that we've seen earlier? And why are they in this... Well, I guess... I guess Algenus or Algendar's castle. He was the... I'm trying to remember the story they were saying. He was like the original... Elf? Was he the one that was born half... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to keep fighting everyone in here and see what happens. Um, by the way, got to give a huge shout out to my dude, X1. Thank you so much, dude. X1 has been showing so much support on the channel um, and just this series specifically and, and really commenting on everything and, and really providing a lot of support. Same with Platypus as well. I got to give credit to Platypus. Um, but seriously, thank you so much. I really can't thank you enough. It's, um, it's awesome to see that people are really enjoying this series for what it is. Um, and the fact that I've never played this game until this series, it, it's just awesome. It's really cool to see people enjoying this content. Um, and speaking of content, on the channel, I plan on bringing more games like this. Obviously, I want to do more Final Fantasy games, eventually Final Fantasy Tactics. I have an idea of a couple solo Pokemon games I want to play or solo series games I want to play. So um, I would love to do Pokemon Snap. I would love to do the Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy Color, which I love that game when I was a kid. Um, uh, also, just other games, too. Um, Le uh, Legend of Zelda, um, Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh!, some of those games. So if you enjoy this content and you're looking to see more, trust me, I'm going to bring more stuff similar kind of to this kind of content moving forward. So it's definitely going to be coming with time. Now, what's interesting is there's flowers here, but, like, I can't really do anything. There's a hole. looks like there's a hole in the wall. Okay. Very interesting. So, and there's a hole in the wall here, it looks like. So, can I kick, is it, can I kick this? Okay. So, this has to be the last room that we need to go in. There's, a, there's actually a treasure chest here. All right, let's fight this enemy. Hopefully, fighting all of them means that we've cleared out the, the castle, and that means that we can, like, collect whatever we need to collect from here. And break the curse. Now, you know what I'm curious about? Are these enemies that are floating, are they like... Are they like um, haunted elves or human elves that were like... That couldn't move on? You know what I mean? Like, because there's a curse, maybe it's like... Those those the enemies that we're fighting are cursed elves and humans that we just... That can't move on to another life. I'm very curious. 
Oh, we obtained a lucky charm. Very cool. Okay. So now what? I think we did all the rooms, right? What did I miss? Oh, no, there's this way. Oh, very cool. Okay. So there's definitely more to do. All right. Awesome. Hey, if he was a king, he must have a had a lot of power. Yes, legend has it that he could even control natural phenomena. Meaning he could make it rain one minute and sunny the next? Well, it's only a legend. I'm not sure he could really have done that. Have really done that. Although the Elf King had powers closely connected with nature. The world was in balance then. The king must have been very strong. So you're saying... What? The elves lost their powers because of humans creating imbalance in the world? I didn't mean it like that. It's okay. Come on, let's go. I'm really hoping Jack can prove that humans aren't all bad and that ja by Jack helping the elves, it kind of proves what um, Karen, 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 Karen? Uh, basically Jack's father, I can't really pronounce his name, he proved a long time ago was that humans aren't all bad. And the king in the old days, Jack, uh, was friends with Jack's dad and Gawain. So hopefully Jack can use this to prove that not all humans are bad and that there are good humans. There's just also bad humans too. Which is funny, you would think the, the king of the light elves would understand that. That, like, no matter who you are, elf, gnome, human dog, cat, whatever, you're never going to be perfect. There's going to be good and bad with everything, every being. So I don't know. It's just interesting that they can't really comprehend that. They just assume that because there's a few bad humans that they're all bad. It's, I don't know. I guess it's what we deal with in real life today, actually. So, you know, it's unfortunate. But did we just get back attacked or um, trapped or jumped? What's it called? I don't know. Oh, never mind. We didn't. All right, nice job, everyone. Nice job. Gil's so good. I love when he attacks with the purple uh, ice attacks. Those. So cool. I will say this, by the way. If we were, like, in the early to mid-20s, I think we would struggle with this a little bit. Like, I think it definitely would have been difficult. Like, if Gil and... If I didn't recruit Gil as well, I think that would have really hurt us in this, um, in this castle. Because, I like, we have... A, it takes like five, six, seven hits to kill some of them. And we're in the early 40s or late 30s, early 40s. So it's like, what would we have done in the mid to late 20s? Interesting. All right, let's take these things out. We'll try to if we can aim, Jack. Come on. There's that last attack. Do you guys see that? That last... The, most of the hits were doing like 110, 120. The last attack I used, the slow attack, did 150, 160. So it's pretty good. Um, I like it. I think it has a chance to land critical hits more. I could be wrong on that. But level 33 for Mikey is solid. Let's take a look at our daggles real quick. We are at 25,000. Solid. I don't know how big this castle is, but... I mean, like I said, we're just going to continue to fight all of them, so. Oh, he fell over, so I couldn't do the last attack. Go, go, go. And the nice thing is we really haven't had to heal much. I mean, Ridley's a little low on health, but we've basically been able to save our healing items, which is nice. Okay, so we beat, took out this room. Let's go to the next. How far do we have to go? There should be a stone monument in the deepest room of the castle. Should? I've deciphered the ancient documents, but some lines are incomprehensible. Hmm, you're smarter than you look. Well, thanks. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Not sure I trust this guy here, but... Yeah, let's just keep running. Screw it, let's get to the let's get to the monument. If we can. I love how like the enemy waits for us as we open one of the doors. Okay, it's not in there. Uh just 
Mm, there's nothing here. I guess we'll battle these two. Why not? It's either that door or it's the hallway behind us. So we'll, we'll check them out. I can't box link. Oh, now I can. Okay, maybe they were knocked down. Maybe that's why. Wow, that was easy. So these valves are literally those disc things. Okay. Very interesting. Level 43 for Jack. Learned wind defense. Learned fire defense. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Wait. Oh, I learned. That's right. Okay, I'm an idiot. Forget everything I said in the previous couple episodes I've recorded. I forgot. It's learning the abilities of people. So I can switch out abilities now. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. It's about time that I finally got some ability. Um, and I think that's only because, isn't it something like your peers, your friend, your teammates have to have max in that stat, right? Or something like that. That's awesome. Look at that. So our luck will drop by uh, 20. But if I can add one of these or both eventually, that would be sick. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Yeah, wind defense, fire defense, wind defense. Very nice. Okay, I got to keep that in mind as I do grinding and stuff. That's sick. Um, all right, let's just go through here. Let's see what's in here. What the hell? Oh my god, what is that? It must be the demon from the netherworld written about in the old documents. Hey, if you knew we'd run into it, you should have said something. Don't blame me. I didn't think it really existed. And I didn't heal either. Gwar. I guess we have to fight. Jack, it's immune to physical attacks. What? Then what are we supposed to do? The crystals. Attack the crystals around it. If we destroy them, we can send it back to where it came from. Okay, got it. Here goes. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. I'm ready for this battle. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go, guys. Attack. Okay, one's broken. Oh. I can't. Okay, hold on. Wait, are they dead? Wait, wait, are my. What's go. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Where am I at? Am I frozen? You froze me? You. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay, hold on a second, because. Let's go ahead and heal up Mikey. And then where is. Oh, is Ridley frozen? Oh, wow. Okay, let's heal her up then. Okay, interesting. I did not... Uh, yeah, we're going to use that on Ridley. Okay, now what I'm going to do... Oh, no, wait. Oh, I didn't want to use Circle Link. That's not what I wanted to do. Is he really not going to attack now? Yeah, let's cancel the Link. Hold on. Uh, let's order all... F1 go nuts. Choose own actions. If uh restores little HP to all. Ooh. Uh whoa, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, Ridley's almost dead. Uh hold on a second. What is going on? This is bad, man. Um Okay, we've gotta heal Ridley. Okay, we healed. Is that that's all we healed her with? Oh my gosh. Okay, I was just talking about how none of these bosses are really difficult. Um until now. Okay, I'm going to do some healing here real quick. Hold on. Let's heal Ridley. All right. And Ridley is up front, so she's going to get the most... Uh, she's going to get hurt the most. Let's heal everyone again. Right. And let's do one more of those moon ships. Right. Okay, I'm going to try and take on... What the... Dude, What? <sighs> Are you serious? Get me out of the stone. Get get me out of the Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, let's do this. Uh Let's do 
that to heal everyone, and then let's do it again. Okay, knock me down, that's fine. We're gonna do moon chip again, heal everyone up a little bit. We did it! Okay, that wasn't that bad, it just got re it was really difficult in the beginning because the laser eyes was hitting most of my party and doing a lot of damage. 8,000 experience, Hatred Edge, Algandar's Castle, and Growth Stone. Level 38 for Ridley, almost level 42 for Gil, Mikey's almost- oh my gosh, that's awesome. Wind Defense, 5 stars. That is incredible. That's awesome. Wow. You should have warned me about this. It surprised me too. I thought you said you deciphered the documents. Uh, anyway, let's look at the writing on the stone. I don't trust Mikey. There's something off with him. I can't read any of it. Well, it'd be weird if I could. Uh, are you sure you should touch it? Those things are usually cursed, right? Death to all who come near? It's okay, I think. So what does it say? It looks like a love letter. Huh? My body is weakened day after day by the plague of Algandars. Even as he was dying, he thought only at the love he held for his queen. And the sorrow that death would soon tear them apart. The Elf King must have been full of regret. Why? It's a terrible thing to be plagued by Algandars. But I think it's even worse to die and leave your love behind. If it were me... You mean the parting was so painful? If the parting was so painful? The King shouldn't have met his Queen in the first place. Is that what you think? Hmm... No, even if you know it's not forever, you should never regret having loved someone. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, the Elf King writes the same thing. Whatever terrible things may happen, even if sorrow is brought to the Elves, he will never regret having loved this woman. And if only they make it to their mission to do so, the time will come. When elves and humans will conquer Algandars together. He loved her with all his heart. We need to learn to love. The way he loved for the sake of the world. Yeah. Come on, let's go home. Dude, what a journey. And I love that about this game. This game really has a lot of deep messages. Which I find really awesome. Honestly, I'm going to do some quick healing here. Just in case we get stuck into a tough spot here. Luckily, it's, what, 90 HP? So it's not going to take too long to finish this up. I'd rather do this, even if there's no enemies, than walk out into another battle and get put into a tough spot. Plus, these things don't cost much. So it's, yeah, it's all good. Okay. Uh, let's go to items, and, and then let's go to status... I feel like there's something new that we got. Leather armor. There was something new. Oh. No? What was it that we got? Hold on. Let me go to my items. Where was it? We got something new, and I'd recognize it if I saw it. Huh. Huh. Oh, growth stone increases all parameters. Wow. I mean, I might as well use it on the main character, Jack. That's awesome. Cures all afflictions. Um, what else did we get, though? Wasn't there something else? We got something. I thought we did. I don't know. Maybe we didn't. There was something. I thought we got something else, but maybe not. Um, wow. So what's this way? Algandar's castle. Can I not? Really? Oh, there we go. Ooh, I can explore even deeper into this dungeon. Okay, or this castle. Sorry, not dungeon. 
Um, I'm assuming it's like a dead end where you can maybe get one item or something. Oh, or we'll just fight more enemies. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll take these things out. Shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a problem at all. So we'll we'll knock this out and then we'll continue. I, I really want to see what's in here. Um, I definitely do want to continue and go back to where we started and get out of here. But um, it also wouldn't hurt to see if there's some cool items in this castle that I haven't found yet. Although we've explored most of the castle, so. Level 42 for Gil. Wow, he's catching up in levels as well. He's only one level behind me. This might be silly to actually continue exploring because this might be something we have to just do later on. Oh. Oh, Septum. This leads us to Septum Cave? What? Why? Oh, this is cool. Book of Angels. What is that? I'm so glad I looked into this. Book of Angels. Oh, Book of Angels. A rare book? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't that a book for Radiata? That... I don't know. What was that book for? Okay, weird. All right, well, let's fight this battle and make like shepherds and get the flock out of here. Um, and we're going to fight these spiders that literally do nothing and do like one damage. Yeah, there we go. Okay, team. Awesome. I'm glad we explored and found the Book of Angels. I'm trying to remember. I think that was a Radiata thing, though. So I don't think that's going to benefit us unless it helps the people in of the Light Elves, maybe? I don't know, but it was really fun to explore this, uh, oh, whoops, did it again. It was really cool to explore this castle. I've, I've actually really enjoyed this episode, as I do with every episode, but this was a little, uh, it was a neat little side quest. I enjoyed this. So now let's go up here, climb up the, the ladder, and then, yeah, I guess we'll just head back out and, and go back to where we were, so. Um, I'm assuming we're gonna teleport or try to, oh. We have enemies to fight. Never mind. Um, I'm assuming we're going to go back to Fort Helencia and, I guess, meet back up with Gawain. You're still not dead? There we go. I was like, what the heck? Why are you taking so long to be defeated? There. Oh. There we go. Finally, I was like, man, are, did they just get stronger all of a sudden? Are we going to be trapped in here? Dude, level 34 for Mikey. Oh, my gosh. This is definitely the place to grind. This will be the new place to grind. I think we came from this way, right? Uh, no. I'm going to spin back around. I think we came from this door. Yes, we did. Okay, we got a battle. That's fine. Yeah, this has been really cool. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of, of exploring this castle, getting to see a couple cutscenes, have that boss battle, which I did not know that we were going to make it out of there. I had to use some really good healing items to heal up quickly. And then even then, that boss's eyeballs were shooting lasers at us, and it was getting a little crazy, but hey, we did it in the end. Nice. Good job, team. Good job. We knocked out another enemy, and we'll continue to get out of here. This is the door we came through. I love the leaves falling on the front of the door. It's so cool. Um, so we go up here. And we got a battle. I was trying to get past him, but nah, I couldn't do it. I could not do it, matey. Is that Mikey saying that? <laughs> Yeah, also, it's kind of nice having Ridley on the team, by the way. Just going back to her for a second. Um, I know that, obviously, we could have had other people on the team, but Ridley, I want her to stay on course for levels because if we need to use her as part of the story later on for fighting and she's in, like, the mid-20s, that's going to really suck. Plus, having Gil on the team, like, it doesn't matter if Ridley's strong or weak. Like, Gil's basically carrying this team anyway, so... <laughs> Enemy sees us open a door. Oh, okay, I will not fight you. <laughs> Love it. And I think this is the entrance, yeah. So we can head back on out of here, and uh, yeah, that's it. That was pretty cool. Very nice. I love this giant bridge. This mossy, grassy, short bridge. All right, is there a... Oh, there's a buffalo. 
<laughs> I was gonna ask if there's a pig teleporter, but nope, there is a buffalo here. I don't think we're far off from finding a teleporter, from what I remember. Nice job, team. Nice job. Look at that. Ridley's got a cool-looking axe. Really cool. Like, I wish I had that. It looks like a... Looks like an axe lightsaber, with the end of it just being like a... Ooh, two-star for fire defense. Very nice. Or defense. Alright. So we'll head back this way. Uh, let me see where we're at in the map here. No, so we actually would have to go all the way back up to... Well, I guess we could cut through over here and go to the... Mm, well, we'll see how far we can get. Oh, okay. Another battle. Battling quite a few enemies today, which is fine. We've, uh... Oh my gosh, what the world is this? I have not fought that yet. That is awesome. This thing is... This thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Alright, box link. Oh wow, we killed it. Okay, never mind. That is awesome. I bet I was supposed to do something different with that battle to, like, get some cool tusks or something, but, um, so yeah, that was, wow, okay, so that gives a lot of daggles, 1,586, and we got a life berry, yeah, we need to find more of those, that is a battle we need to find more of, if we can get lucky, um, sort, let's go ahead and grab that berry, use it on Jack, because might as well. Um, just to explain a little bit more about that, Jack is the main character. I mean, that's probably all the explaining I need to do. But he's he's the main character that we use in every single battle. So to me, it seems silly to use berries on other characters. I mean, you can if you want. But, like, Jack's the main one you need to focus on. Especially because he's the only one you... Prim well, he's the one you primarily control. And he's, again, in every battle. So, yeah. All right, Gil. Nice job. Gil just hit him with, like, three attacks that did 98 damage each. That's awesome. Nice. All right, cool. Let's keep on keeping on. Yeah, we're going to have to go all the way back to Radiata to actually get to a um, to an, a teleportation device to take us to Halencia Fort, which kind of stinks, but, I mean, it's fine. These battles are going to go by quick. It shouldn't take long. And there you go. It's already done. Very, 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 very nice. Solid. Good, good, good. All right, cool. We'll take that. Um, now, which way do we go? This way, right? How did I not get past him? It looked like I snuck by him, but okay. Weird. Knock you down. Done. And Thunderbolt by by Mikey. Nice job, Mikey. I wonder if the reason why I finally learned fire defense and wind defense is because I used the the box link so much since I've learned it that finally you have to use it a ton before you finally get uh, abilities, which makes sense. Like, I wouldn't assume you would just get them right off the bat by using one box link, but I've used it quite a bit now, so it would make sense that now they're going to start giving you uh, more abilities and stuff, which is cool. I like that. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's go this way. Hopefully now it's nighttime. Some of the enemies will be asleep, or we can just at least dodge them. Uh, let me see. Am I going the right way? Yeah, buddy. I'm trying to stay on the far side so I don't run into every enemy. Because we, let's be honest, we don't. Oh, there's a Radiata Knight. Ooh, got away. <laughs> see you, sister. Oh, see you, bud. I can fight them, but I mean, we're good right now. If I have to fight them, I will. But if I can dodge them like that, I'll totally do it for now. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we went this way. We came from this side. Very nice. Oh, wow. We're 
We're getting back to where we need to pretty quickly. Dodge that guy. He's not even going to see us, really. Uh, go this way very nicely. And... Oh, we're super close. Yeah, we're right here. We probably have one person to fight, and that's it. Yo, wow. We're going to dodge. Wow. <laughs> that worked out well. Okay, um, real quick, what I'm going to do, guys, is just to be safe, because I've had issues in the past with this, is I'm going to do a quick save state or two, um, because, again, with the pig teleportation device, it's been kind of a mess. So let's go ahead and fly to Fort Valencia. Teleport. I saved state, so if there's any issues with the ROM, we should be fine. Thank God there's no issues. All right, cool. So we skipped a lot of battles that would have taken up quite a few minutes of our time there, and so now we can just head back. Thanks, Jack. I think I like elves more than before. And humans, too, for that matter. It's nothing special, but I want you to have this. Obtain Power Stone. Ooh, that's cool. Thanks, but I should be the one thanking you. I know there's no solution yet to the war between humans and non-humans. But thanks to you, I've managed to find a path I can believe in. I hope the day comes when humans and elves can coexist. Yeah. Well, I better get back. Thanks again, Jack. Very awesome. That's so cool. That was a really nice side quest. This game does such a good job with stuff like that. Mikey leaves your party. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and check out this new item. Restores HP as you walk? Oh my gosh. Wow, that is awesome. Um, do I want to equip that? This is only plus two in strength. Is that really worth it? So right now we're at 236. We'd go to 234. Yeah, I'm going to equip the Power Stone. Restore HP as you walk. That is really nice, honestly. That's pretty sick. And we already have um, the Recruitment Suit, which is also auto HP restoration. So, yeah. We're at 30,000 Daggles. That's awesome. Hi. I think it's amazing we captured this fort, but couldn't they have kept this place a little neater? I'm asking the same thing, too, man. Same thing. All right, so now that we've done that, let's see where we need to go next. I mean, what's the what's the plan? What are we doing? Where's Gawain? Has he talked to, um, um, what's it called? Let me see. Who should I add to the team? Well, I think Gawain's probably going to join our team again, but let me take a look at everyone's uh, abilities here. Iron Link, Prevent blind, uh, Bind, Prevent Curse, Prevent Poison, Luck Plus. That'd be kind of cool. Doesn't look like I can learn it, though. Prevent Confuse, Sharp Edge. I'd love to learn Sharp Edge. Um, for now, we'll throw... Um, wow, Basso is level 27, and his stats are really good. We'll throw Basso on the team for now, and then if we know that we can get back um, Gawain, then we'll be good. So let's continue. Let's see if we can get some a cutscene or something to figure out where we're going for the next episode. That way we don't just end it right here and go, all right, guys, we'll see what the heck happens next time. All right, let's talk to yes. the boss here. We fairy creatures lived for centuries in ignorance of war. All right, great. As a human, where do you think they're going to attack next? Clarence is tough to beat, man. I couldn't beat him. I guess I should sleep when I can. What happened to Gawain, man? Where did he go? Is he like... Didn't he say he was going to talk to Zane? And that was the whole point of us... Like, leaving him here? I train even when I should be getting sleep. Don't I deserve a drink? Okay, um, let's just do it. Let's just check a couple of things here. Um, first things first, map. We don't have a mission right now. Um, I'm going to go through here and check to see what I can and cannot purchase. Uh, let's see. Hey. Thank you for shopping here. I've been observing what you buy to learn more about humans. Glad I could help. I have a favor. The next time you go somewhere, can you invite me along? <gasps> sure. Thanks. You always buy a lot of my products. But I have so much in stock in the storeroom. I see. I figure I'll be able to meet other races by joining you on your travels. Then I can most likely sell everything I have. Ooh, I bet she... I bet they heal. I bet they heal. 
Okay, so uh, Book of Health. Heaven's Gate to protect party from... Uh, that's really nice. That's really good, too. Beckoning Cat increases chance of obtaining items. That's pretty sick. Divine Earring. Avoid ambushes. Uh, cures all afflictions at the end of battle. That's really nice. The training device would be good, but it's 50,000. Um, Beckoning Cat and Tr Pluto's Trophy. Obtaining more daggles and getting items would be nice. Um, hmm... I feel like there's no reason for me to not get this. To, to teach it to, um... And same with this as well. To teach this to, uh... To... Uh, Jack. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, we're down to 19,000, which kind of stinks. But it's worth it, I think. Um, so Book of Pegasus. Jack, yep. And Book of Health. Jack. Yeah, it's definitely solid. I want to go see if Keen... 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 Kiane? I don't know how you pronounce their name. Kian? Uh, whatever their name is. I want to see if they're someone we definitely want to add. Let me see what level they are. Level 18. Uh, okay, let's see what they're... They do. Let's, let's take a look. Status. Level 18 is not great. Um, Bind Ward builds up for proof. Um... Elf magic heals party members with the help of the far short cast time. Leaf barrier. Elf magic creates a tornado of leaves that sends foes flying. Light bow. Elf magic is used to create an arrow of light that is shot at the foe. This is going to heal and also these two attacks can fight. That's pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. I think we're going to keep her on the team or, or whatever they are. Um, grass clothes. Yeah, so it's basically feathers and seeds. Plant seedlings. Okay. That's cool. Um, and what do you have? Prevent bind. Very cool. Yeah, so I think I'm good with what we've got so far. So, yeah, level 18 kind of stinks, but we don't have Gawain right now, so I guess that's it. So we're going to take her on our adventures. I just, I think we just got to sleep, and then it'll get us to progress in the story, I think. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and save. Save it right here. Save file number 7. And then we'll go ahead and we will sleep. Let's go ahead and sleep. Let's see if it does progress us to where we need to go next. Sometimes this is just the case where you just have to sleep and then the story continues. As I said, there boy, we go. Oh boy. Does that smell good? I'm star. There's Gawain. Hmm. You're late, Jack. Huh? Ridley, where are you going? <sighs> hey, Ridley, are you okay? Wake up! Mm, she has a high fever. Hey, Ridley, wake up! What's wrong with you? Man, that's not good. Not good at all. Oh, here we Sir go. Cross, the girl still refuses to tell us anything. She's the only family that the peasant boy has left. They must have been in contact somehow. <laughs> Perhaps your methods are... Oh, no. Did they get his Sir, sister? I want her questioning to be completely thorough. Do I make myself understood? Sir, very well, sir. Did they capture Adele, Jack's sister? That's gonna suck. I bet they did. Or someone else, maybe? No, it's Adele. Yep. Oh my gosh. Wow. Are you serious, guys? Did they they really beat her up? Wow. Ridley, Ridley, are you okay? What's the matter? <laughs> Shh. 
she... she hasn't been infected by the Algandar's plague, has she? No, not at all. She is experiencing the after-effects of the transpiration. The after-effects? The soul of Hap has not yet been fully integrated into her body. Ridley's own soul continues to resist. I don't really understand. But she's going to be okay, right? Yes, of course. Hmm. In any case, what she needs now is peace and quiet. We should leave her alone so she can rest. <laughs> the vessel will soon be ready. My brother, your death will not have been in vain. What? Okay, definitely don't trust him. Yeah, that doesn't look like she just needs a little bit of rest. It is a great burden for a child. Damn it. I promised that I'd protect her. Ridley, hang in there, okay? Yeah, something seems a little fishy about all this. I don't know if I trust the the king there. Come in. We meet at last, Aphelion. <gasps> what? He's Aphelion? You finally found Wow. Aye, but it was quite a search. I looked everywhere, and here you were the whole time, a lord of the castle. It became necessary that I position myself at the center of human affairs. Are you going to tell me why? Ah, never mind that. What I really want to know is why you're inciting this war and having humans kill the dragons. You know as well as the rest of us. If the balance of forces is upset, it'll be the end of the world. Humans are fragile, brittle things. Huh? What are you talking about? Dragons and elves, too, are promised immortality, but humans are destined only for death and extinction. Yet no other race strives so single-mindedly to raise themselves above their lot. Why? Why is that, Parsec? Why, when death is their only reward? How long have you been thinking this? Anyway, I'm here to help protect the Order of Totaus. That is my only concern. But it seems to me that you aren't interested in your own duty anymore. I don't think we will meet again. No, we won't. But I'm glad we had this little talk. Take care, Parsec. I, you too, Ophelion. Come in. You called, Lord Lucian? General Dynas. A large man has just this moment left the castle. He is, in fact, a dragon. What? The pupils of his eyes are like flames. He is the human form of the fire dragon. The fire dragon? Pursue him immediately and kill him. Sir, right away, sir. Call out the troops. I want every available knight ready to move out now. But why? I don't understand. Yeah, well, Parsec. Why is... What? I... So, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, and you guys can let me know in the comments. Isn't Aphelion the human form of the gold dragon or the silver dragon? Or, or gold, I don't know, whichever one. Ridley. Ridley, are you awake? Are you okay? Jack. Hey, you're finally back. 
Where, where am I? In Fort Helentia. I remember during the meal, I suddenly felt ill. Yeah, you just collapsed. You had us worried. I don't understand. I don't remember anything. What happened to me? I'm not me anymore. Jack, what's happened to me? Hmm, there's something hey, fishy hey, about the spit right, transpiration Lord. ritual. This is not good. I don't trouble. Lord Parsec is being attacked by the Royal Knights. Oh god. Is that what, what? we're getting into You're now? Fire dragon guy? Is he okay? We don't know, but he's been driven into Fire Mountain. I I have to go and help him. Are you crazy? You're not going anywhere in that state. I'll go. Jack. You've got to rest and let yourself get better, okay? Jack. No one else can die. No more. No more deaths for my sake. I won't let them kill the old Weezer. You just leave it to me. Jack, hurry up! Coming. Jack, save him. I think there's a coup going on here. I think there's some people, humans and non-humans, working together, and there is some sketchy stuff going on. But guys, I'm going to leave it right here before we figure out what in the world is going on. I don't understand why Aphelion would try to kill the fire dragon. I just, I, I'm not understanding, but I'm sure we'll figure it out more as we continue to go. Maybe I'm just not paying attention enough to the dialogue. Maybe I missed something, but it's okay. That's fine. I don't need to know right now because we'll see as we go through the story and we'll understand it better. But um, seriously, as I always say at every episode, thank you all so much. This is an incredible game. I hope you're all enjoying this series. I hope you're enjoying the game itself. And, you know, maybe this will make other people want to go see if they can go buy a copy, buy an old PS2 and go play it or get the ROM for it or whatever. Whatever, but um, yeah, this is just awesome. I'm having a good time. But as always, spread those positive vibes. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we go save the fire dragon Parsec. And hopefully, you know, we we, we do some good. And we uh, also figure out what's going on with Ridley. Because I think there's something fishy going on with this transpiration ritual. I think the king's involved. I think Lord Cross is involved. It's all some coup for something. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.